TMZ Podcast. I'm Charlie Nav. I'm Edward Lewis. Edward, thank you for joining us today. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Edward is obviously filling in for Charlie Cotton today. He's at Disneyland. Oh, Lucky him. Wow. And here we are slaving away at work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, been here a while already, yeah. <laughs> but we got a lot to talk about today. We're going to be starting with Kanye West. There's an exodus of his company, his business. A lot of people are leaving, quitting. It's it's a mess. Um, and then we're going to get into Benny Blanco. He said his next goal in life is to start a family with Selena Gomez. No. Are you Exciting. team Selena? Uh, <laughs> is there another team I should be on? Well, you know, Haley, oh. Benny, we're talking about kids. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, and then also we're going to get into some sports topics. Edward, if you guys don't know, he is like Big amazing in yeah. on TMZ Sports. Yep. He's on the sports show. Big sports he breaks guy. some of the big sports stories. So we're going to talk about Tom Brady, yep. your boy. Mm -hmm. He's saying that the roast jokes affected his kids. Sounds like he has some regrets. And then we're going to get into Caitlin Clark. I mean, she is just tearing up a storm. Um, but she finally made her WNBA debut. And then lastly, we're going to get into Paris Hilton. She thanks her followers for their advice about the car seat safety concerns, and she's now changing things thanks to people on social media. All right, so first things first, Kanye West uh, is parting ways with his Yeezy chief of staff. So his chief of staff was Milo Yiannopoulos, and Milo has confirmed that he is no longer with Yeezy Enterprises. Um, and he said, I wish Ye every success in the future. I have some concerns about his new team and hope he proceeds with caution. Um, so Milo had told us that he's leaving Yeezy Enterprises because he doesn't like the whole Yeezy porn venture that Kanye said he was going to be doing. And multiple sources with direct knowledge tell us that key players among the company's leadership have also exited in the past uh, in the past few weeks. I think this is very fair on both sides, right? I, I think it's fair of Kanye to explore this venture uh, because if we've seen anything over the years is that sex sells, right? Especially with his wife. Uh, uh, we know Bianca, that Bianca Sensori, right? That all the outfits. At the... TMZ, whenever we post <laughs> anything she wears, it's the number one story on the day, you know, because it's revealing, right? Uh, right? And I think he perhaps sees that as well and notices that, wow, when pretty girls are in revealing outfits, it makes me money, but right? Isn't that like not a new concept? I, right, but it's never been explored in this kind of avenue, right? With yeah. celebrities. I, obviously, we have OnlyFans with kind of the minor yeah. celebrities, and it, but it's never this like Kanye West level celebrity being involved in this kind of adventure and we don't uh, know exactly what he's even doing we just know it was called yeezy porn it was going to be some kind of adult situation right. um coming off of the heels of like you said his girlfriend bianca or wife bianca sensori wearing all these like reveal i wouldn't even say they're clothes it's just like <laughs> a piece of garment that is see-through and you see the nips you see the crotch you see the booty and she walks out to restaurants and like the Cheesecake Factory right. wearing this kind of stuff. Right. So there's a lot of money to be made here. So I understand Kanye. Now, Milo's gripe, I understand his as well. Uh, he, We obtained his resignation letter. Yes. And in it, uh, uh, he kind of explains what I think is a super fair explanation of why he doesn't really want to be around this anymore. And one of them, I'll read you the direct quote. He says, he does. He believes the people that are around the the porn industry uh, can provide him an imminent danger to my life as a recovering addict and an unacceptable risk to my spiritual and physical health as a former homosexual. So, uh, I I think it's it it doesn't appear that he's like it, later in the in the resignation letter he he says like if you're done with porn I'll come back. So it doesn't seem like it's a it's a end all be all. Yeah, and he's not mad at Kanye over this. He just says like look this doesn't vie with my personal lifestyle and I need to move on. And for Kanye it's. Okay, that's okay. You know, I think this is going to make me a ton of money and make, you know, this is what I want to do with my life. So I think it's also, fair on both sides. I also wouldn't be surprised if, like, this never sees the light of day because we've seen Han Kanye get, like, so hot and cold. He, like, gets obsessed with a project, gets all these people mm. involved, and then all of a sudden he's like, nope, onto the next shiny object and, like, dumps it and, like, moves on. Do you remember he was, like, building those houses? Yes, 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 like yes. Like, those beehive type and houses? And the school. It, yep, and the school, which yeah. there's a whole bunch of issues with that. Right, 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 right. right. Um, but yeah, 
I don't know if it'll see the light of day. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I I, I have doubts as well. But again, it's a, it's such a huge like anybody if he, if he gets an OnlyFans or something like I mean this is massive money. So, oh my gosh, yeah. if Kanye was on OnlyFans, if he's but he's starting his own. If he's OnlyFans. participating in it, yes. I mean, can you imagine the numbers? I, so, yeah. yeah. All right, moving on. Benny Blanco says he wants to start a family with Selena Gomez. Him and Selena have been dating for 11 months, and Benny was on the Howard Stern show. And he talked about how he's ready to take his romance to the next level. Here's what he had to say. You're going to have kids or that? You have no room for kids in your life, right? You're never going to have kids. I, I, what do you mean? I want to have, I, I, that's, that's like my, uh, that's like my next, the goal on the box. Like to oh, check no up. Kidding. I, 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 you want to have kids with life. Selena? Have you told her you want to have kids yet? I always want, it's always, it's always a topic of conversation to me every day. Like I talk of, Dude. I talk about kids. I talk you about are in love. Lot. You are in love. Oh, this is so sweet. Is it? <laughs> yes. I want Selena to have her fairy tale. I just, you know, feel so bad for what she's been through in the relationship department. And, you know, people don't want to pit them against each other. But you're consistently thinking, like, comparing her and Benny to Haley and to Justin. Because Selena was on and off with Justin for many, many years and then they broke up officially in 2018. And then just months later, months right. later, Edward, he got married to Haley Bieber. And look, everyone's moved on. Right. It's all great. But Howard is obviously being strategic by asking the kid question because what just happened in the kid department? The Beavers. Yep. Last week, huge announcement that Justin and Haley are expecting their first child. So obviously he wants to see, well, where's Haley at? Do you really think department? that she cares this much still? I mean, I, I know this was a traumatic thing not. and it played on the public, but I, I, my ex from five years ago could be an astronaut right now and I wouldn't care. Edward. You know what I mean? I don't understand why people keep yeah, linking an, her to him. An ex versus someone you have been on and off with, in love with, teenage love. It's, teenage it's six love years is ago now at this point. It's almost been a decade. Edward I, Lewis, you no look at me in the eyes, tell me there's not one ex you think about where Recently, you're like, wow. Perhaps. Perhaps like recently in the last, you know, what year about your or two, teenage years? I could not care less what they're doing right now. I, I they could have seventy five children right now. I There's wouldn't. Some care. broken I, hearts out there. They're I, like, I, Edward, please I mention me, Edward. I don't see why anybody <laughs> links these two anymore. Who cares? Who cares? I think for me, this is such a non-story. Like there are two people who are in love. And 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 they want to have kids now. I don't understand why we're we're making this a huge deal. I have no idea. I saw this story. I was like, oh, that makes sense. Well, you know what? It seems like she has moved on. She has a lot going on. She has her only in right. the, only murders in the building project. She's got like a cooking show. So she is doing just fine. And it seems like she's super in love with Benny, and he is super in love with her. They they would be great parents. But they there was a lot of drama at the start of this, right? Is that, has that all ended? I remember because her fans thought he wasn't good enough or something. I mean, it yeah, seems people we're don't okay think now. he's like good looking enough to be with her, which is so ridiculous. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's true. Huh? No, like, I, I feel like it's horrible <laughs> to say. I agree. Yeah, and he's a successful guy, right? I guess. Yes, he, he had a relationship I, with Bieber, though. That's the whole yeah. Part. They had worked together in the past on some music. Um, but you know what? That's what Hollywood is. Everybody knows everybody. No, yeah. I'm sure you have some exes that know each other. Uh, hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should oh, we dive into no, that no, on this uh, episode topic, huh? of the TMZ where, podcast? Where else are we going from here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. God, don't you guys just love it when Edward's uncomfortable? <laughs> I love it. Okay, Edward, you you pitch these. Okay. All right. So Tom Brady uh, did the roast obviously earlier this month. Yeah, um, had the a greatest lot of fun with roast it. of all time. I thought this was laugh out loud funny. The next yes. morning, I was at my desk like giggling for like an hour because we were writing stories and I was re I was listening <laughs> yeah, to all the sure, jokes. Yeah, sure, it was story super, related. Super funny. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, now he is coming out and saying he actually has a lot of regrets about it, and not only that, he says he would never do it again. Wow. And it all stems from he saying his kids were affected by the jokes. Uh, so if you'll recall, there was a bunch of jokes from Kevin Hart. Jeff Ross, even his former teammate Drew Bledsoe, all making fun of his divorce with Giselle, uh, and some were 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 pretty gnarly. They were actually they're all really funny if, if in a vacuum, right? Well, let's um, hear, let's hear what he had to say on the pivot. Right, um, I didn't like the way that it affected my kids. Mm. So it's the hardest part about like the bittersweet aspect of when you do something that you think is one way, and then all of a sudden you realize I wouldn't do that again because of the way that it affected actually the people that. 
I care about the most in the world. Wow. So, so never once, well, we're like Kevin Hart kind of low-key brought up the kids when he said, like, you came back for that final season and were terrible and you lost your family over it. Right. But most of the jokes were simply like, ah, you, got, you got left by a jujitsu instructor, basically. Yeah, for a jujitsu. Yeah, for, for a jujitsu, because Joaquin Valente is her new boyfriend. Uh, and at the time, though, Brady was like in stitches over it. He thought it was hilarious. He never like got up and, and said anything. But you recall a couple days later, Giselle was reportedly furious over it. Yep. It seems Giselle and him had a conversation and he kind of became awakened by this. And yes. now he's saying like, I essentially hated the aspects of the personal life. And then he has another son too with Bridget Moynihan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, there were jokes cracked about her as well. Yes. There was some joke saying like, oh, you left your pregnant girlfriend yes, and yes. you thought she was just fat or something yes. like that. Well, that kid she was pregnant with is here, <laughs> is a teen. <laughs> He's probably seeing, you know, watching the show and thinking like, dang, that was not very nice about my mom. Yeah. So it seems like everybody was affected. But do you think it was worth it? Absolutely. I mean, the thing is, he he doesn't need the money. You know what I mean? Right. So uh, it's my understanding that I don't know if he was paid or whether it was for charity. It, it's hard to really know what was going on. Obviously, there was a lot of money that came about this. So I, I do think there was a lot of uh, charity that came for it. Or at the very least, Tom was paid an extensive amount for it. You know, so yeah, why not? I mean, and his kids are going to have to deal with this for the rest of their lives, whether Kevin Hart jokes better or not. Right. Right. Giselle dating a jujitsu instructor after the Hall of Fame quarterback is always going to be in society. It's going to be written in books. You know what I mean? They're going to have to deal with this. They're going to have to grow up. And they're not like super young anymore, in my opinion. You know, like one of them is playing high school football. The other one is like almost in college. Like I I don't know. I, I think it's fine. I think he's taking it a little too far here saying I would never do it again. This is really Yeah, he sounds like kid. he has like major, like major regrets. Major regrets. Yeah, yeah. not like, oh, this is silly and you know, like so I, I don't I don't think it's that deep. I, I if I'm him, I'm I you know, I'd say, okay, I, the next time I do it or anything I do something like this, kids and family are off limits and it, it was funny. Who yeah. Knows? All right, moving on to Caitlin Clark. Next sports story. Caitlin Clark, you obviously know about her, the Iowa yes. superstar uh uh like this female Steph Curry, basically, uh, uh, one of the best college players ever, if not the best college player ever. She made her WNBA debut last night with the Indiana Fever. And How'd she do? It wasn't great. <gasps> no, <laughs> yeah. no. It, it's 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 not it, it it's it's not always black and white. There's a lot of gray in in this. Uh, okay. The Fever, her team uh, is terrible. It's the reason she's on the Fever because they had the number one overall pick and they want to revive yeah, this team. And they they by being the worst team in the league, they got to select Caitlin. Uh, they took on the Connecticut Sun. They got blasted. They lost by 21 points. Caitlin had 10 turnovers. I don't know how familiar you are with basketball, but that's not good. <laughs> um, uh, I like watching she, that. She, uh, she did have 20 points. She had her moments. She had some Steph Curry s moments where she's electric beyond a, the a earth. rock star. She could she could shoot it from the moon and and make a basket. So she's still impressive. It's going to get a lot better. But the debut was pretty meh. Uh, 10 turnovers was the most in Fever history. Um, not good. Uh, this it, is like reminding me of like the Mighty Ducks plot. Okay. Like how they were just like not a great team. They had to come and work together. Uh, there's always that like developing <laughs> scene where they're like finally getting yep. it. Yeah. I'm hoping for like a happy ending on They'll this. They'll do the, for the flying fever. V and, uh, and <laughs> flying make v. this right. They'll be fine though. She was she was good. The team is bad. Uh, uh, <laughs> She's good. Team they'll, is bad. They'll get they'll get around to it. She had moments that were fine. But as for debuts go, you would like to have seen a better. Though. She's already made history with the jersey sales. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's huge, and even they were in an away game, and the arena was cheering for her. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So she's she's a star. It's gonna be fine. But as for last night, it wasn't the not best. great. Yeah. Hey, you know, baby steps. Right. Um. So Paris Hilton changing some things up in her car. <laughs> she originally had posted a video of the kids. She's got two young kids, boy and a girl. Um. And she showed their car seat situation, which people did not like. So as you can see here, the oh, this is this is the aftermath, right? Okay. So basically, I, I didn't even realize this. What I'm happened? I'm not a mom, okay? okay? Okay. There's a certain way you gotta put the car seats in the car. It needs to be facing the other way. There's like a bunch of buckles and straps. I thought it was you throw them in there, you set on your way. But no, it people are are very particular and there's laws. There's laws protecting kids in, in car seats. So she apparently did it the wrong way. Social media came for her, roasting her, saying London and Phoenix are not safe in these cars. You didn't set these up right. Well, she is now reposting the changes that she's made. 
um, strapping them in correctly, reversing the car seat, and now they're happy, ready to go, and they're they're safe in the sliving van. We're 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 probably the two worst people here to talk I, about this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I couldn't be further from uh, having children. Uh, I, I, yeah, same. I, I don't understand what she did wrong. Uh, uh, is it's a it's a big thing. Was it like horrifically wrong? Like, or was it just like some people? Uh, yeah, some oh. people thought it was horrifically wrong. Um, and said that you should have had professionals install yeah, the car seats. The which I feel like, yeah, I get that. How does she not have any sorts of assistance? I mean, she's one of the richest people in America. How does she not have? Yeah, this, but <laughs> also. I do feel story. like the mom shaming is so brutal. I mean, you can't win with with the mom shamers. They will shame you about anything. A haircut, you know, eyelashes. I mean, literally anything, a, appearance, but also like what you're doing, how you're disciplining your kids, how you're not disciplining their kids. It's it's out of control. Is it is it shaming though if she was wrong and she admitted she was wrong? Well, I think the way people came about it could it was kind of like brutal, but yeah. look, whatever it was, there was something that stuck with her and now she is correcting it. She's doing it right, so a win and you know, people are probably learning something too. I learned something. What did, did you, you learn? learn something? I didn't learn anything. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Edward, you're going to be a great dad. Oh Edward. yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, for the last segment, this is my special segment, Edward. Okay, yeah, I'm, I can't I'm, wait. I'm so jealous man. that you're experiencing it for the first time. This is great, yeah. All right, can't today wait. in history. Today is May 15th. A lot of things happened on May 15th, Edward. Okay. In 1940, in San Bernardino, California, brothers Maurice and Richard McDonald opened up a drive-in restaurant that gave rise to the fast food chain oh, that was McDonald's today. today in 1940. Wow. I know. Do wow. you eat McDon McDonald's? Never, never, never. What, really? But I have eaten it. Are you a fast food guy? I mean, no, you're so skinny. Never, Are you, never, like, never, eating never. salads yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. starving yourself? Salmon, broccoli. Oh, you know. no. Yeah. Oh, no. Get you off at this yeah. stage. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, shout out chicken nuggets. Shout them out. And their ice cream with the hot, a double hot fudge it's on the my, top and the but bottom. But it never works, right? What? The ice cream machine and then the joke? Yeah, yeah. But you know, it usually works with me because they know, they know me now. They know. In the drive-thru. We gotta, we gotta make this work. for the, the hot fudge okay. sundae, which <laughs> I wish they would bring back the nuts. They got rid of the nuts because too many allergies, but you know, some wow. people like the nuts. Okay, anyways. Okay. Charlie likes nuts. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is, this show's going <laughs> south. All right. All right. Um, all right, on this day in 1928, Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse made his debut with the premiere of the cartoon Plain Crazy. Crazy. Mickey. Charlie, and Charlie is, is seeing there. Mickey today. Wow. Yeah, I should text him. Yeah. Give Mickey a high five for us. Yeah. Awesome, Mickey. Um, also, in this day in 1918, we're going way back now, Edward. Wow. Um, the first regular ale mail. It, Air mail route in the U.S. opened between New York City and Washington, D.C. What's an air mail route? Like we fly, we ship packages. That hadn't happened before 1918. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was all by like. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Edward. Oh, my God. I'm sure you order stuff from Amazon. Uh, I, that is I'm all through air mail. Guy, I mean, you know? yes, they get in their trucks. They pack it up. Yeah, they yeah. come to your door. But to get them so fast, the next day shipping. Airmail. That's crazy. Edward, wow. they're not bringing it to your house by donkey this anymore. That's so crazy. That's insane. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a day in history. We haven't really had a good invention recently, though, huh? <laughs> like in our generation. You have like the iPhone, Charlie. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's our generation. I miss the sidekick days. I was a sidekick girl. I loved like flipping it. <laughs> I'm sure Anyways, yeah. RIP the sidekick. Re rest in peace. Edward, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm sure you've got a lot of new fans now. So many, I bet. All right. Well, <laughs> tomorrow you will be replaced with Carly. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Charlie. Thanks, guys. Check you out tomorrow.